Hi there, I'm Miles Peterson, and you're watching a 3D Engineer. Now, I know it's probably about time that I make this video, so I apologize for the wait, but the requested miniature STH-10 siren is completed, and here it is. Overall, this thing came out very well. I love the colors. A lot of my fellow subscribers uh, voted that I print this in metallic yellow filament, and I think it came out very great in that color. It looks almost brand new, which was more or less for what I was going for. This is a completely functional model. It's very loud. Uh, since the top and bottom layers of this rotor are very thick, uh, the wind-up and wind-down of this thing is very long, just like with real STH-10s, which I think is a pretty neat feature, and I want to incorporate that more in sirens I make in the future. So anyway, this video will be very quick. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is just doing a bit of an overview and test of this guy, so you can hear what it sounds like and see what it looks like up close. So without further wait, let's do just that. Alright, here's the mini STH-10 up close. Gosh, this thing is pretty. Um, so anyway, yeah, here it is. Uh, here we have the 12 port rotor and stator. There's the chopper right there. All 12 horns. Uh, in total here, just for this top section, there is 24 of these uh, brass wood screws. Those are uh, number two size. They're 3 eighths of an inch long. So that's what I used. You'll notice that the one on the top there does stick down a little more, and that's because that goes through less plastic than the bottom right there. Uh, but that's that, that's fine. That really doesn't cause any problems. But we can see the in, the insides of the port there. They fit into the horns nicely. It's very pretty. And like with a lot of my other mini sirens, oh, there's my STL-10, uh, this is USB powered. So here it is, it just plugs into the wall, or really any phone charger. And uh, yeah, here's my STL-10 compared to the STH-10. Uh, just like with real ones, these sirens are very similar. So uh, I might do a sound off of both of these guys later. Uh, maybe in a separate video, but they're very, <laughs> but they're very pretty. I will definitely be selling both of these guys eventually. So yeah, this is seven port if you didn't know already, and this is twelve port. So Federal Signal calls this high tone and low tone, hence the name STL versus STH. Here's the motor cover, and you'll notice that uh, they're actually a lot different from each other, and that's because I believe the motor cover that I'm going for on my STL-10 is an old GE motor, a uh, General Electric motor, and um, the one on here is a Valley motor, which can be found on the older STH-10s from the 1950s and 60s. So the older models will have these, and I thought these things are classic, so an older motor cover makes it look pretty cool. Here's the bottom, we got the intake and the legs uh, just on that stand, so it can be kind of desktop-y. Uh, same, literally, <laughs> the intakes for these are almost identical. The only difference is really the amount of screws that it mounts to on top, because these have a different number of horns. But, uh, yeah, they use, literally these sirens basically use the same parts. Like, the only difference is the horns, the stator, but other than that, the parts are basically the same. You could print out this motor cover on my STL-10 and it would fit that, so, and vice versa. But I think that's pretty cool. These things are very modular. The horns on my STL-10 have a little bit of glue because these things were pretty loose when I had them on, just without anything. Uh, but unlike the STL-10, my STH-10 uh, doesn't have its horns glued on. They're literally just put on there directly with screws, so I thought that was pretty cool. They fit pretty well into the stator, which has an insert for the horns, just like the real thing. There is no horn spacers on this, and to be honest, most mini STHs don't have those. I originally did try to add them, but that just didn't help with any structural, anything like that. It would have had they actually fit, but I don't know, they were, so, they were so thin and small that they just broke apart. So I decided to drop that idea and just have the horns mount directly to the stator, and that's actually giving me no problems. So now I'll quit yapping and then we can fire this thing up and see how it sounds. Okay, the siren is all set up. I've got my decibel reader in the corner up close to the siren. Uh, it's already reading like 70 or 80 decibels or so just by me talking. So I uh, expect that to be pretty loud when I sound this off. Uh, I didn't mention this before and yes, this siren does use a 130 size motor. It's just inside the motor cover and it's hooked up to the USB uh, with I think two 1 ohm resistors in series. But anyway, you don't really need to add those, but for the pitch to be a little more accurate, I did put them, so it made the pitch a little less. Um, so yeah, this thing is a little maybe on the high pitch side, but to be honest, STH-10s are extremely high pitched, so it does sound pretty similar to maybe some three-phase variants. Alright, now let's not keep y'all waiting, let's sound this thing off.
love the long wind down. Uh, since the top and bottom layers of my rotor are really thick, uh, this thing takes a long time to spin down, so wind up and wind down is great. Alright, now short attack. This should sound pretty awesome. Well, there you have it. All right, that was a quick overview and test of my miniature Federal Signal STH-10 siren requested by you. This thing sounded great. I love the long wind down, and a thing I want to do in the future is make my rotors thicker, because that not only improves the quality of them and the toughness, but also uh, the wind down. I also do want to incorporate weights on some of my sirens, as that also does lead to a longer wind down and uh, makes the rotors heavier and all that. So do expect that in the future. There's also a very high likelihood I'll be selling these. Um, it's almost pretty much guaranteed at this point, so that's just a little update on that. I should be selling Mini Sirens maybe in a month or so, so uh, I hope you can all understand that it will take me a while until I can start doing that. Also, for those who want to print their own, files are available to download for free on Tinkercad with an account. Uh, as always, you will need an account to download them, but that's free and I do recommend it. So if you have a 3D printer and you have the parts to make one of these, I do recommend it. They're very fun, they're very loud. So I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. I'm Miles Peterson, and you stay creative.